In the shadows of Gale's realm, a darkness descends, a monstrous villain on whom evil depends. Her name is Lizzo, a sight to abhor, ugliness and malice from her core they pour. With wicked intent and a heart full of spite, her nefarious deeds a plague on the night. Her appearance repulsive, her soul black as coal, a figure of terror that chills to the bone. Obese and unashamed, she flaunts her vast girth, a twisted display of her vile self-worth. <clears throat> Riding her golf cart through chaos and strife, she tore through the world, spreading sorrow and strife. A despicable act she committed one day, running over dear Bill, who stood in her way. Her laughter like thunder, a storm of disdain, an embodiment of evil, causing heartache and pain. As she rides off, a cruel parting refrain, Goodbye, bitch, she yells with a sneer of disdain. Yet, in the battle of good and evil, Lizzo will fall. For, in the, for the light of Gale's love will conquer them all. Another brilliant poem from Zack Knight about Antichrist Lizzo. It says it all. Um, I did create a post b back in early January trying to figure her out. I still believe that she, past tense, had a severe case of borderline personality disorder, which is now morphed into full psych. She's a full terrorist psychopath. <coughs> um, as it says at the end of my post, our responsibility right now, even though I did have some empathy for her, our responsibility right now is to protect ourselves. We are actually at war with her and her followers. So this is a, we have to use military strategy on her. I mean, when you're, she, uh, it's, a, it's like, uh, she's gonna kill us if, uh, she's cl clearly on the side of evil. But you can read my post to try to understand who she was in the past. Personal opinion, I think she is totally off her path. She was never designed to be evil or even ugly. I think her true self is a very beautiful uh, person. Uh, and if she was true to who she was meant to be, she would be as beautiful as Miss Universe. I really believe that but she is so far off her path. You say, how come, um, I'm not sure about this, you know, I, I, I had a very mild case of borderline personality growing up, okay? My mother always called me a selfish, no good girl, and um, I believed it, that that would have been my false self, and I believed that that, that, that that was who I was, so I overcompensated in the other direction trying to be a good virtuous girl and I locked, lost myself into another false self which was an image of me as a Victorian woman totally chaste, totally monogamous and that wasn't me either so I believed that I was one false self and that I tried to overcompensate for that by being another false self and um, I didn't really find who I really was until Brett Spiner came in my life in the early 1990s and gave me the courage to find who I really was and who I really am. Zach has written beautiful poems about. I'm kind of an asexual, polyamorous, passionate blend. But the passion is very complex. It's, um, <clears throat> it's, uh, my sexuality is so much more than just the physical and it's it's emotional it's spiritual it's intellectual it's it's just a whole bunch um lizzo herself is lost in her false self i know that for sure um just like i believe satan is 
and um, she doesn't know, she believes that her false self is her real self, okay? I also think she's long overdue for a good spanking too. See, I got some spankings growing up, apparently she did not, <laughs> or, or they were tiddly wings to her. She needs a good spanking. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, she's obviously living in her false self. She was not designed, none of us was designed to be evil, okay? Um, she's living in her false self and, and gloating in it. She thinks this is who she really is, but it's not. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think she's going to find her true self until she probably spends some time in the lake of fire. Yeah, she's just too far gone right now. Yeah, I mean, the poem says it all. Um, you see... The difference between me and her, okay, as borderlines, is that I have found my real self, and it's a loving, empathetic, beautiful woman, okay? Her false self is also <clears throat> a beautiful woman. Um, the details of it I'm not sure of, and she, she needs to find out for herself who that woman is. She may, uh, my guess is, she isn't going to find out until she gets to the lake of fire. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't count on this one getting right. Not in her mortal body. Uh, I've noticed something in common with all the antichrists that got right. They all had at least a modicum of humility. Um, if, there's, if there's no humility there, they usually won't get right. So yeah, her, her real self, though, I do believe was meant to be a beautiful person. Okay, a beautiful, loving person, um, which she is definitely not in her present self. She's totally lost herself into her false self, and it's a real tragedy, actually. And she's trying to get everybody else lost on their path, too. Anyways, this was um, another brilliant poem from Zach Knight, Perfection. He should be a poet laureate, or what do they call it? Nobel Prize in Poetry? Perfection. So I'll go ahead and post this. And you can go ahead and read my insights about her. Um, uh, at, I created a post about her. I do believe she passed tense. She was a borderline. Just like me past tense, I was a borderline. I had a weaker case of it than she did. Um, I, I have basically overcome that. She has not overcome her borderline. She's totally, most borderlines live in their false self, okay? Because they don't know who they are. And, um, but you try to tell them that they're in so much denial about who they are and everything. Read my post, it describes it beautifully. That you can get a link to it underneath the, this video. And also, I will have a, um, uh, you can copy and paste if you want the poem, which will also be in the description. So, um, yeah, we, our number one goal right now is we need to be doing the Gale Commandments and protect ourselves from her because yeah, I don't think she's going to get right till the lake of fire. <laughs>